Hello, everyone. This is Andy and Dan and Pat from Stone Security. And today we are going to do a small demonstration. Many of our clients have asked for a mini training uh, through the access control systems, how to run an audit, an access audit report in the case that someone from an organization has notified management of a potential illness and management would like to track pathways of certain individuals through an access control system. And with us is Dan Lockington, support engineer from Stone Security. And Dan is going to take us through the access control system, S2 Security, talking about how to run an access audit report and look through a personnel file for locations that this person has used their card. And Dan, with that being said, we'll turn the time over to you. Um, this is Dan Lockington. Thanks, Andy. So there's two different ways that you can do this. So I'll go over both of them. Um, first, you'll need to log into your S2 netbox. And once you're in, go to the administration tab, down to report. You'll be running a history report access history and then this you can filter by all of these different things if you only know the first the person's first name you can put that in there um since you'll probably be wanting to look for all types of of access select all search period there's a, a couple of pre-made ones today yesterday you can select different months uh, a custom period if you knowing exact date of when they've notified you and when you want to look for where they've been. For this one, we will do for a month, January through April, just to see what they are. Uh, location, you can select any location, which is this top one. You can select a specific location. If you wanted to know an exact door, who's come through that for this, we will go with any and then search. Now that'll pull up everybody whose name starts or has Dan in it. <clears throat> Excuse me, you'll know that I'm in there. Daniel Wills is there. Um, Jordan. So anybody who has the three letters D A N in that order will show in that list. If you want to narrow it down a bit more, you can put in their last name. And it'll run this, and then you can run the same list. Now that'll only give you people with that last name. I'm the only one who works here with that last name, so I'm the only one that will show. And that is how you run the access history list. Another way to find this information would be through the person's record. So you'd go back to the administration tab, people search, search for that person. And then in their person record, go to recent activity, and you can see that here. <clears throat> this list is not exportable. The other one is. So if we were back here in reports, if you wanted to export that after it finishes finding them all, you can export that here in a PDF or CSV file. You guys have any questions about how to do that? Dan, I think you've explained it very well. What Pretty are possible forward, other what what are some possible other use cases for um, the people search that you've heard or needed uh, other customers uh, needed to help with? Um, if people are looking for a, a certain individual that um, just to see if they came in for a day, if they, um, where they went throughout their day, it's, you could find that information here as well. Very useful so, tool. So if you wanted to see where I was today, well, we can run just a today list and that'll bring up every portal that anyone named Dan has scanned into today with the time and 
what happened there. So here was a an access granted portal unlock. This is a double card presentation. I was granted access then, and then double carded again to relock. Went to another um, portal. Was granted access at those. Okay. And let's do a hypothetical re example really quick, and then we'll wrap this up. Um, so for myself, who I've been working from home the last couple of weeks, why don't you see if I was my manager and I wanted to make sure that Patrick Kilborn is working from home, can you go in and check to see that? I can. So I just put in your name. Nothing comes up. So you have not accessed the building yesterday within the time frame that I had. So today, um, if you wanted to do a custom period, would probably be a good one for this. So you've been working ho from home since, let's say, the middle of March through today. That'll show anything that is granted. So the last time you were here was 3.30 at 1356. It was the last time you carted in to this office. That, that is correct. Cool. That is a very cool example. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much for that demonstration, Dan. And for all of those watching, we really appreciate you taking a moment to join us for this Stone Security webisode. Have a great day.